What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video. Now are you hoarding exotic engrams in prep for the Rise of Iron? If you are, you ain't the only one. Almost everyone I speak to is hoarding exotics to some extent, hoping that when the Rise of Iron does drop, we can run straight over to that Cryptarch and get some of the new Year 3 exotics. Now, although it hasn't been confirmed by Bungie that this will even happen, yesterday on our podcast with Game Informer, they were asked about hoarded exotics and if they were decrypt into year 3 exotics. And Bungie simply wanted to keep quiet on this matter. I mean, me personally, I'm falling slightly towards them not decrypting into new exotics due to how easy exotic engrams are to obtain with the three of coins and still will be when the Rise of Iron drops. I mean, I feel surely they will want us to grind the game in search for these new exotics and are keeping quiet about it to hype it up and to get us grinding exotics as of now. Either way though, for me, it's a win-win situation due to the fact I will be grinding when the Rise of Iron drops and it's something I look forward to actually doing. But if exotics do decrypt or have a chance of dropping year three weapons and armors, I have a shit ton of exotic save too. What I would say to you guys, if you ain't hoarding exotic engrams, is that I would due to the fact that there's really nothing to lose. Because if they don't decrypt into year 3 exotics, what have you lost? Besides a few strange coins, purchasing the freer coins, which let's face it, are easy to obtain. I'd say, if I was you, get yourself as many as you can afford from Zer this weekend and get grinding. Play some strikes, play some PvP. There are even a few great exotic farming guides which you will find on YouTube. There are guides where you can get as many possible within the time limit of the cooldown. I think there's even a way around that cooldown and if I find the guide, I will link it in the description box below. Now these engrams we have saved, we do want new exotics in return from the Cryptarch. But what new exotics are coming within the Rise of Iron? Now we know of the Iron Galahorn and the Thorn, but we do know that these will come from quests and the pre-orders. We also know of the Vostov, the exotic version of the very first weapon we wild as the Guardian. This again will come from a quest, but there are others. There are exotics that have been in the database for a while now, and I do believe it was mentioned on a stream quite a while back that they may drop within the Rise of Iron. We've got the Phagomizers, which are the Titan Gauntlets. We have the Doom Marchers, which are the Titan Leg Armors. We have the Shinobu's Vault. These are gauntlets for the Hunter. We have the Frost E55. These are leg armors for the Hunter. We have the Hophibian Aspects for the Warlock. We have the Astro Sight Verse for the Warlock, which is a helmet. Also for the Warlock, we have the Transversive Steps. These exotics have been rumored to be coming with the Rise of Iron. Whether they do or not though is a different story. Some may under new names while others may be left behind. Other exotics we do know that are coming with the Rise of Iron is the Trespasser Sidearm, that weapon reminiscent of the Robocop gun. We also have the Nemesis Star which is a heavy machine gun. But that's about it. If there are any other exotics, weapons or armors, Bungie have done a great job on keeping them on the down low. There is word of the raid pulse rifle, but obviously that is going to be related to the raid. But other than that, there is absolutely nothing that we know of, which is something in my opinion which is great as it keeps us surprised of actually getting them dropped and finding these new secrets intact. I mean it's great knowing what the end goal is but it's even better in my opinion not knowing the rewards you will obtain which is one of the first things that got me addicted to Destiny. It was that element of surprise in the loot you received. There isn't much of that left anymore so if there are other exotics hidden that they haven't spoke about that is great in my opinion. But anyway guys back to the main purpose of the video and that is hoarding exotics for the rise of iron you may as well as you truly have nothing to lose even if you ain't max light yet when rise of iron drops items will drop at a lot higher level than you are now anyway guys let me know if you've been hoarding engrams how many do you actually currently have hope you enjoyed the video do drop a like i do appreciate that support and i will catch you on that next one peace out until next time peace Get it right Left in the dark